Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And we haven't had a home ed video in a while. Um, life just kind of got away with me. We've been doing a lot of unschooling and I've just been really trying to find little bits in here of structured time so the kids can learn something and have fun. Uh, so when Out School approached me and offered me a class for the kids, I couldn't wait to try it out. We'd never tried Out School before and the website, I was expecting it to be slightly tricky to use because a lot of study programs I've seen before are. It was so easy to use, it was so easy to find things with their filters that each kid could use. They have profiles that I could put. So then they recommended classes to me based on my children's age and their interests and uh, we really wanted to try something for the Jubilee so we decided we picked something that was a little bit British but not necessarily, oh my goodness everyone's very excited about the Jubilee and Charles is really excited to learn about Stonehenge as pagans. Um, I'm interested to see how he how he copes in a um, stru more structured environment. He has been doing um, an art class online and I was like well he does really well with that maybe this is like the next step and then he can do some more things um we've been we I've got a couple more planned I think he has and he has an escape room planned which is all about Victorian Britain and there's another one which is baking so he does like a bake along class a cooking class and I'm just gonna let him loose in the kitchen um make sure he's got everything he needs and I'll put things in the oven for him but to be fair he's pretty good he he makes his own cheese on toast so I think he could probably do it all himself from scratch so um, I'm excited for him to give that a try a little bit later on um so the class variety that our school has from what I've seen there was classes that were about minecraft there were arts and crafts there was phonics for younger children it was even like dungeons and dragons which is not something that I'm familiar with but I'm sure there's lots of kids who really enjoy that. So it was a big scope of things that children are interested in. Um, we're looking at things that are about animals. We're actually doing a unit study about otters. So we thought maybe we can find something about British wildlife and then we can tie that in to, to our, you know, our learning. The really cool thing, and I'll show you in just a sec, I'll insert some footage, um, was a learner allowance. So I can top up the money and I can top up put some money in there like a top up like you would a phone and then Charles can Charles Betty or Albert can pick what they want to learn so say Charles saw a um a Minecraft class he wanted with that set amount of money he can then go he can then use that that account and he can just like have a you have a my Minecraft class um which I think is amazing to give children that especially as we do a lot of unschooling I think that having the children being able to choose what they learn and when they learn it I think that's a really really big deal and you just don't get that on other platforms that are like it has to be within school hours or it has to be certain things and you just don't get that anywhere else so I'm really excited for to be able to like give Charles that freedom um I'm mainly gonna be Charles because Betty and Albert don't do well sitting in front of the computer um but Charles is really excited to like have some independence um there's there's group classes there's ongoing classes there's one-to-one -one tuition or in groups there's like clubs let's like an art class that i found that goes on there's also a cooking class that goes on every single week um this session that he signed up for goes on every single week as well i'm not sure whether he um will go on every single week but he's excited to give it a go and see how we how we do and um the other thing i found was like this class starts at quarter past seven so um there's, but then there was other choices of it starting earlier in the day on different days and there's like four or five different days you could choose from for this specific class and the other ones I looked at were loads and loads of different ones. There was another class that was phonics that um, you could just download the video each week and um, they already had it on there already and you just got access to it each week which I thought was really good from like a teaching perspective. So. I'm really excited for Charles to give this a go. Again, as I've said in my previous videos, you'll have to excuse the decluttering. I am powering through with some decluttering in this house and uh, my room is the cat drawer room. It's just, everything gets dumped in here. And um, But my living room looks like right now. So, you know. So I'm going to get everything set up for his class and uh, take you through some of that. Have a look at the, so we can have a look at the website together, show you how I would get a class for Charles. And then in just a few minutes, we will be starting his class. So I'll have to drag him off the trampoline so he can come and join us. So let's get going. So as you can see, we've got 
at uh, Charles's class here. Charles has Tales of the British Isles, UK Myths, Legends, Folklore and Customs. That's going to be starting in just a few minutes. Now, um, if you stick around to the end of the video, there will be a £15 off code for your first class, which might even get you a free class. And a little disclaimer, I do get, as you can see at the top there, I do get the same amount um, as a affiliate link. And I'm really excited about that because I'm going to use it on more classes for the kids. So I'll just quickly show you while we're waiting for Charles's class to start. We can click here, find classes. So I have already put in that I what I want certain days. So I want them to be in the morning and I want them to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday because we have busy days on Monday and when on Monday and Thursday. Uh, I don't want them to have to do things on those days. And then it always already says ages 5, 8 and 10, which is how old Albert, Bessie and Charles are. So we've got one here, uh, creative writing, which I might put Charles in for um, because he's <clears throat> really into that. Uh, there's a debate. Geography. That looks really cool. Around the world with Barnabas Bear. Oh, another writing club. Another travel one. There we go. His Minecraft weekly Minecraft coding beginner fun. Learn to code with new projects every week. That's definitely something that Charles will be interested in. So if you, if someone's interested in Minecraft and they signed up with my voucher, you would only have to pay a pound for a Minecraft coding class, which I think is amazing. Comprehension, English as a second language. Ooh, Inventors, Inventors Academy. That looks cool. That class would only be a pound as well. I think it was your first one. The Poop Museum. Oh my goodness. A class about poop. That's something that my kids would be interested in too. So I can narrow it down, look. If I want to, I can just take off, just say Charles, for example, so it'll be age 10, and then I might want to, um, what, 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 let's have a look, shall we, subject, um, he, he, to be honest, writing would be really cool right now, so look, I can just click on English, so there's all sorts of things here that are suitable for him. Let me just have a look at something else. Um, we can click science. He's always interested in animals. So there's all sorts of things here. Pokemon physics. Oh my goodness, he would totally be up for that. <laughs> Force, friction and laws of motion. I'm going to heart that. So you can heart these things. It's something you're going to be interested in coming back to you later. Dinosaurs. Ooh. Marine biology. I'm going to like that one for Charles as well. He's really interested in marine biology. My goodness. So many options. I wonder if there's anything about Lego. He's super into Lego. I don't think I know. I don't see. That's a zero, not O. Silly old me. What does it suggest? Lego builders. On a Tuesday. Summer camp. Brick building social club. Oh, wow. That's so cool. They can like socialize whilst building Lego. <gasps> Greek mythology with Lego. Oh my goodness. I've got to put that on there because he's really into Greek mythology. That's his pantheon that he practices as a... Little baby pagan. Oh, engineering. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, right. I've got to get everything ready for this class now. But Spot other one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. I'll explain how my classes work, actually. If you want to say anything, please feel free to do that. Just wave at me or put your hand up. Is that okay? Because mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't just want to listen to me talking because that's too boring. So if you want to say anything... So we have done the class. I say we because I sat here um, on the laptop and I was listening in as well just because when you do a new class I tend to sit nearby, don't I? And then if um, he has any issues or feels anxious about anything I'm like right, right here. Plus I'm really interested as well. Less interested in the art classes that you do on another platform um, but this I was really really interested in and I actually really enjoyed it. And I So I'm just going to run through Charles what um, 
some of the things that I noted down and then you can tell us about what you thought about the class, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, so the teacher started off, she introduced herself, she just kind of said, if you wanna get my attention, put your hand up, give me a wave, um, asked a few questions about the children. There were three children in total, Charles being one of those. Um, so it was a nice small class size and um, it, um, yeah, it just seemed really, really nice and calm. I think with, um, when there's lots of children in an online class, it can be quite overwhelming for everybody. So I think it was good that it was only three children. Um, she was so enthusiastic and cheerful, just really engaging. And I was like, I was hooked. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll sit in the bedroom, but I didn't, I wanted to stay here because I was really interested in what was going on. Um, she seemed very patient. She included all the children in the discussion, which I think is a big thing, especially for home educated children. Then if they're not used to a school setting or they are used to schools getting it setting and that can have some trauma triggers for them. This teacher wouldn't, I don't think she would have done that. She was very, it's like a friend, wasn't she? She was just talking yeah. to you like she was a friend. It was really nice. She was talking to me like, like we've known each other for a couple of years. Yeah. Like an old friend. Yeah, it's really nice. So there was lots of really engaging slides that she shared her screen and showed everybody. Um, she asked questions. There were slides that asked questions that were about Stonehenge that she kind of, um, encouraged the children to all have a go answering and when she asked direct questions to the children it was very gentle it was very calm and um when if the child didn't know the answer she would encourage them and say that's a really good answer what about this and just kind of build on that and i didn't feel like i got one right yeah i didn't feel like when you didn't answer in the way the question was meant to be answered it did she didn't make you feel like you'd made did you done anything bad that's she, a very good answer yeah. but she said like pretty much just like oh that's a really good answer but not, not completely right but very good yeah she encouraged you didn't she you yeah, can like, hear albert she very... in the background it's because he doesn't want to go to bed and he's annoyed that i'm in here with charles i think she included some really interesting nuggets of history about stonehenge, stonehenge that i didn't know as an adult instead of just going you're wrong you're so close to yeah. you are like he very he did it very subtle probably not to make us upset yeah i like that and I, I've literally, I've wrote a note to Charles on the bottom here. It says, she's very excited. I like her. <laughs> um, and then there's some really interesting folklore about the UK as well, which I, again, I didn't know. Um, so you would do another class with that teacher again? Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, her name was Helena and she was, she's, she's a British teacher and she was just really, I don't know, really engaging, really enthusiastic. And I really enjoyed it as well. Um, you've signed up for another class with her, haven't you? It's baking class. Yeah, baking class, which we will feature as well. Um, I will, we can't video the actual class, but I can video Charles. So that's what I will do. I'll mute the sound so there's no footage, but I will video Charles. He is going to be baking some Victoria sponge fairy cakes all by himself. Um, I will be around, but I'm gonna let him loose in the kitchen. And he makes his own cheese on toast now. Um, so I don't think he would even need my help putting things, taking them in and out of the oven, but I will be there to kind of keep an eye on him. Um, I haven't told him, that's why he's making that face. I hadn't told him I was gonna let him lose. <laughs> How are you feeling about making cupcakes all by yourself with the help of Helena on the um, on the computer? Scared. A bit scared. A good scared? Like waiting for a roller coaster scared or like bad dream scared? No, scared I'm gonna make the oven explode. Oh, you won't make the oven explode. And I'm gonna be nearby. And make the cake oh well that video he'll be doing that at the weekend so we're looking forward to sharing that with you uh, next week um it's all jubilee themed so obviously this week we did british history and folklore myths and legends and then we're going to be doing fairy cakes at the weekend in honor of the jubilee cake. as well cake um and i think uh, i don't think we'll do any more jubilee themed also. oh you've got your escape room haven't you oh, you've got your escape, escape room. room at the weekend as well um it's like some london yeah, victorian britain room. you're to escape cholera which is a disease that gives you diarrhea oh no yeah so um charles his turn he as we've talked about on this channel before he's on the autistic spectrum and he yes. definitely he's never been to school either so he has no experience of a classroom setting but he found that really you found it really really easy to deal with and you didn't feel yeah didn't feel uncomfortable in any way so i think that's a great thing if your child is uh, has different needs to the uh to a neurotypical student then 
I think you definitely give it a go, even if they don't. Maybe if they're just, you know, just wanting a little bit extra, definitely give it a go. I think I'm gonna sign Charles up to a few different classes and just see how he gets on. Um, and yeah, and then we can go from there. So thank you so much for joining us for our first ever experience about school. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Charles too. really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Helena England, the teacher, and uh, for a really engaging and informative class. And thank you so much to OutSchool for partnering with us for this video. Uh, we loved having a go and we can't wait to try out some more. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay. Please. Bye.